Good evening, YouTubers, fellow reloaders, and old school computer enthusiasts. <laughs> Reloading Bench back with you once again, and I was thinking about uh, titling this video The End of Spring, or in this case, The End of Springs, and that's a bit of a pun on uh, springs because I don't know if you recall, for those of you who follow any of my videos and my postings you may recall i did a video about uh spring kits for the cz 97 specifically uh trigger kits and such to uh to reduce some of the uh single action double action um pull on that trigger uh kind of like uh, a lot of the 1911s and a big market for cz 75 but not so much cz 97 but what i found in in all my research is, uh, for the most part, and uh, uh, I will have to, uh, uh, what's the right phrase, uh, do at your own risk. So, uh, albeit the parts are listed for CZ75s, uh, after talking with some different manufacturers and checking their sites, uh, apparently a lot of stuff can work on the 97, but uh, should you do that, you're taking... Uh, you're taking that uh, liability on uh, on yourself. So uh, what I've done here is for myself, uh, to my stuff, and uh, that's that. So if you do it, uh, it's all on you. But uh, if you recall, I think I want to say I had uh, four and a half to, uh, and for the, the freaks who are so paranoid about uh, um, unloaded firearms, um, I want to say that I had a uh, four and a half to five and a half and a nine and change to 11 uh, on uh, on the double action. So four and a half to five and a half on the single action. And what I then did after my research was to uh, buy a bunch of springs and or pins. And I did it in, uh, I focused on four areas on this CZ97. Uh, the slide and all of the components uh, relating to the firing pin. So there's a new uh, pin in here. There is uh, a firing pin spring. Uh, there is a firing block spring. And then obviously that new pin. Then stepping down to the frame. This pin was the worst pin I've ever had in my entire home smithing life to try and get out it was just a beast uh, even after researching at it and coming at it from the correct right side with the left side flared it was just a bear worst ever um, that was replaced with a uh, floating pin a floating trigger pin which now i can take a punch and easily uh, replace the, the the pin that was in there it was just a piece of rolled steel trash just garbage Effective, but garbage in terms of reusability and ease of uh, uh, of, of extraction. So that was just a bear. But uh, uh, the trigger pin, the floating pin, uh, is new. And there is also um, a, uh, a trigger spring. And then stepping back to the rear of the frame, when you pop the um, safety out, there's another uh, spring uh, for the sear, and uh, that was an interesting um, method of uh, replacing without uh, losing a very, very tiny spring on the inside of uh, of that uh, little block of uh, mechanical wonder. And then getting the safety back in is uh, a challenge by itself because there's gears in here that you have to align. And then the last spring was the hammer spring, which is basically right here behind uh, the grips, and uh, that was relatively easy uh, that's quite challenging to get out to it's a little harder than the 1911s um, but in terms of how it feels I mean I think it has a, a much well to me it has a lighter uh, pull um, and I've, I've noticed that uh, the slide comes back a little easier due to the hammer spring and uh, even the double action feels a little bit different but feeling is not good enough so let's do some testing for reality's sake all right so we'll we'll do single action 
Single action coming in at uh, four and a half. Single action coming in at three, just under three and a half. Coming in at four and a quarter. And coming in at just at four. So I think we've seen three and a half to four and a quarter. And this one is uh, three and three quarters. So I'm going to say we have uh, a three and a half to four and a quarter. Uh, which is considerably less than I think what it was uh, four and a half to five and a half previously. I mean, it feels great. Uh, that's coming in at uh, just under four, a little over three and three quarter. Uh, that, and uh, I do most of my shooting obviously uh, single action, so that is going to feel really nice. And I'm going to find that out tomorrow at the range because I'm going to take a PTO day. And we'll find out. Let's see. I expect the double action to be still quite heavy. Uh, that's coming in at just under eight, like almost eight pounds. Whoops. Habit. Uh, that's coming in at eight and three quarter. That is coming in at eight and a quarter. That is coming in at eight. And that is coming in at nine and a quarter. That was the worst. And that is coming in at eight and a quarter. So I'm going to say we have uh, an eight to nine, uh, which is, uh, I want to say, better than, I'd have to look at the old video. I want to say it was nine plus on the old video. So maybe shaving a pound plus on each uh on each single end double action but uh love how it came out feels great i mean functions all the functionality is there at least from a from a dry fire perspective and uh we'll find out what it uh what it feels like at the range uh maybe tomorrow that's it for now spring is over end of springs